Saturday practice at Vikings training camp. Welcome to the Vikings two minute drill for zone coverage, zonecoverage.com. Also make sure you get a subscription there, $2.99 a month by Arif Hassan's training camp guide for $19.99. Too late. Boys, all 90 Vikings here today, only two holdouts due to injury, Stacey Coley and Pat Elfline. What was one surprise you had today at practice? Uh, we saw about two and a half hours of uh, Vikings football out here this afternoon. I think the biggest thing for me, and I do this every year, the first day I show up to camp, the physicality and really just how big some of these guys got during the offseason. Two names came to mind. Anthony Harris, a UDFA from Virginia, came out. Great in coverage as a center fielder, but needed to get bigger, stronger, needed to prove he can tackle, have better running angles. We won't see that yet, but just from a physical standpoint, the guy looks like he came out of college about buck 80, buck 85. Yeah. Looks a solid 210, 215. And a guy who made some plays last year when his number was called, not just on special teams, filling in for an injured Andrew Sandejo. I like him as the number three safety, and if his name gets called again, I'm confident with what he can do. Yeah, I think uh, today, in terms of the, the plays that we saw on the field, I was kind of surprised. Trey Matthews, third string safety yeah. out of Auburn, I think, yep. uh, you know, made a really great play on the ball. Just, uh, you know, click and close. You read the quarterback's eyes. Was able to get there before uh, before the quarterback could, you know, slip it into a tight window. Generally speaking, it looks like he's been having a pretty good camp so far. Obviously, we, you know, don't get to see a lot of safeties. We don't get to see a lot of physicality yet. Um, so there's a lot to be, you know, mm -hmm. a, a lot to be, uh, you know, proven. Uh, but I think today, Trey Matthews, big surprise. And I'll add a quick one of my own of the negative variety. I'm still disappointed in the few targets that Laquan Treadwell is getting. He's really non-existent in 11 on 11 drills. <laughs> this continues to be an issue. It was a problem all last year. Day one, not great for Laquan. A uh, lot of rookies out here, guys, and we've had some glowing reviews in some of the press conferences of some of these young kids, obviously a small sample size, but what's one rookie who stood out to you? I know you mentioned Matthews. Can we come up with some other names, uh, Luke, who you got? Uh, again, just from a physicality standpoint, Jalen Holmes, defensive lineman, fourth round pick from Ohio State. You, t you, t you heard a lot and they talked a lot about the rotation of defensive linemen they fully expect to implement this season, keeping guys fresh. They don't want Everson as much as they'd love to have him. They don't want him playing 90 snaps every single game. So I think the rotation of guys I got to keep an eye on, again, just physically, I was impressed with fourth round pick Jalen Holmes from Ohio State. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, Xavier Rhodes gave me this name. Holton Hill, mm. undrafted free agent out of Texas. Mm. Uh, it's not often you hear a lot of praise for an undrafted mm. free agent. Uh, Xavier Rhodes could not wait to talk he was about glowing. it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, the name comes up, and he's like, "I was waiting for that question." Right. He was talking a lot about you know how, how Hill had a lot of great technique, and even though he was targeted, I think a lot today, uh, and gave up a couple of those targets, just to hear that kind of praise for an undrafted free agent, I think that's pretty significant. And Adam Thielen also talked glowingly about some of those young corners. That's an exciting position to watch at Vikings practice this summer. He's Arif Hassan. He's Luke Inman. I'm Sam Ekstrom. It's your zone coverage two-minute drill, zonecoverage.com.